What an exciting time to be a Whovian. The 60th anniversary is just around the corner and not one, but two Sonic screwdrivers for fans to get their hands on. Welcome back to The Order where we talk about all things awesome and collectible. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 14th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver Online Exclusive Edition from Character Options. We'll take a look at all aspects of the Sonic, from the design, the build quality, the electronics, and finally, we'll do a quick compare and contrast against the standard retail version recently released to hopefully help you decide whether you should go for the standard or get your hands on this online exclusive. If you enjoy this video, it would be amazing if you could leave a like and subscribe. Help a veteran get a warm meal. Let's get in. This is the first brand new Sonic design that we've had since the release of the 13th Doctor's screwdriver, so this is a very exciting time indeed. Let's dive into the packaging first. As you can see, they've gone for the fairly minimal white box art, which actually nicely accentuates the blue Doctor Who symbols, the various bits of writing. You've got this nice regeneration pattern in the background just behind the Sonic. On the rear, you've got a little bit of discussion about the 14th Doctor, and that's about it really. So here's the Sonic itself and it is pretty nice. This online exclusive version is constructed using this really beautiful chrome effect with this vac metal silver. Whether the chrome makes it feel more like a replica than a toy is, I think, open to individual taste. Some people think it looks a bit cheap, while other people really like it. Looking at the overall form factor and design of the Sonic, as I said in my previous video where I touched on the retail version, this shares lots of little nods and winks to previous sonic screwdrivers and a laser screwdriver this bit at the bottom which has this really nice satisfying click presumably is going to have some function in the show this seems to be inspired by the masters laser screwdriver the tip at the end could also be the masters but it also could be a little nod to the 12th doctor's screwdriver which had this little nub at the bottom you've got this grip section or leather effect or you know would be leather it's plastic here obviously but that's a clear nod to the 11th Doctor's screwdriver. This marble effect here, which seems to be new. I think when I looked at it with the retail version, I, I thought it was almost a bit of a take on the coral effect from the 9th and 10th Doctors. This is just a print. So for me, this is actually the weakest bit of this Sonic, but actually on the online exclusive version, I, I think this kind of blends in a bit better. You've got, and let's see if I can get this on here got on the ignition button for want of a better word some Gallifreyan details which I think is a really nice touch that they didn't have to do and then moving along you've got some claws here which as you extend pop out now when I first got this possibly due to the way that the the sort of chrome plating's put on these were actually stuck to this extendable section so when I was pushing this they were really, really rigid and I thought I was going to break it. So I actually really gently pushed this out and then had to spread these by hand. And then since I've done that, it works absolutely fine every single time. And it's actually got quite a satisfying click to it, more so I would say than the retail, but I'll touch on that in a bit. We've got the fact that it extends. To me, that's a, a little bit of a nod to both the 10th and the 11th Doctor because both of their screwdrivers did that. We've got this section in the middle, which is usually going to be reminiscent of the TARDIS the control control console so that could be something that gives us a bit of a hint as to what the TARDIS is going to look like now. These extended sections here I heard someone say in another review that they thought these were a bit of a nod to the Daleks and I quite like that idea but personally I think these are more of a nod to the 12th Doctor screwdriver which has little sections throughout that sort of jut out and then on the top you've got this sort of bulb which to be honest doesn't really do anything and I'll show you the lights so that you understand what I'm saying. So overall, it's actually a really nice Sonic screwdriver. My initial gut feeling on this when I got the, the retail version was it was too fat. But the more I've held it and the more I've messed around with it, actually it's very, very comfortable and very well designed. So let's take a look at the electronics. So as you can see there, fairly standard Sonic screwdriver sound effects. It does have a few different multiple settings and I'll, I'll run through those with you, but you can see a little bit of light coming out here really nicely with this Sonic. You can press for the screwdriver sound and then extend the emitter with the sounds playing, which is something that you couldn't necessarily do with some of the other versions of the screwdriver that we've had that they could do on screen. So that's a very, very nice touch. It's got quite a pale blue LED on this. So rather than it being the quite rich, almost navy blue that the 9th and 10th Doctors had, this is actually a slightly different color which perhaps adds to its uniqueness. 
But when I was saying that the bulb on the end doesn't really show you anything, I'm not sure if you can see there, but it almost comes across a bit yellow. What you do get here is you get a little bit of shine from these lights down at the base of this emitter section here. They ricochet off these arms. In the promo shots that we've seen, it actually looks like the prop has LEDs mounted on the ends of these prongs. Bit of a shame that we couldn't get that, but it still does a good enough job. Very nice, very satisfying. I like the fact that you can use the Sonic in this mode or in that mode and it doesn't really matter. I'll keep it extended so you can see more of the lights though for the rest of this. The more clicks you do, the more sounds you get. This comes with five settings preloaded. So you've got the standard. Fair enough. You've got the second. Now, I'm not 100% certain that that's going to pick up on the audio, but it's almost got a little bit of a, a sort of throbbing sound behind it. So that's kind of uh, got a, a little almost power surge build up to it, but it's really, really quiet, as is the second one. And then fourth. Nice and straightforward alarm. And then the, finally the fifth. And that just comes back and goes into, I think that's the second, once you've kind of got past that initial, there's always like a little deep bass tone there, but there's nothing much to it. Um, with both the retail and the online exclusive, I think the electronics are the thing that lets this screwdriver down more than any of the other screwdrivers. I think the different sound effects that you had on other screwdrivers, like the 12th Doctor's sound settings, for example, just were more fun. They were more entertaining. They were louder. The LEDs were brighter. Here's the 11th Doctor screwdriver. So for me, they were just far more uh, entertaining and they were a bit louder. So you could really, you know, you could, you could tell what was happening. I'm not really sure what character options decision making process was there but there are you know like I said there's lots of design elements to this which are really really nice the overall design is lovely you can extend this while keeping the lights going I'll see if I can do it which is a very nice bit of functionality to be able to do so all in all it's a really really nice Sonic is this currently worth the money being asked on eBay and places like that and to help us make that decision I'm going to bring in the retail version so here we have side by side standard retail version online exclusive, straight from the off. There's no worry about you mistaking one of these for the other. You've got the retail packaging over here, which is very distinct in its own right. You have the online exclusive packaging over here, which is much more minimalistic. Personally, again, I actually think that the retail version here probably wins out because it's just got that little bit more punch to it than the white motif over here, which I think actually has the risk of looking a little bit cheap. In terms of other differences, in the packaging itself, there is a difference because the retail version actually tells us about the 14th Doctor screwdriver, while the online exclusive tells us about the 14th Doctor himself. And when I say this, these are more biographies about the Sonic screwdriver as a premise or as a device rather than specific to this toy. Looking at these two side by side, they've got the exact same form factor. The only difference here is one has chrome finish, the other has this sort of matte metallic finish to it. I have to say, I actually think the matte finish on the retail version looks better and has a bit more longevity to it. This is going to be much harder to crack and scuff and muck up than the chrome is. The seams on the marble print in the retail version, there's a really noticeable and very distinguishable gap. Whereas on the online exclusive, it's actually much closer together and perhaps that's why it feels a little bit better. It does feel slightly more premium on the online exclusive, but in terms of functionality, you know, it's got the same pop open. There's a bit more stiffness to the online version than there is to this. I mean, I've messed around with the retail version a little bit longer, but the, the joints are definitely a bit freer. Otherwise, these are almost identical. The, the main difference we're talking about here is these chrome elements and where you've got the kind of gold effect at the bottom, I actually don't think it's particularly noticeable at all. The main difference is at this emitter section at the top. And when you're looking at the electronics, the brightness and the LEDs is exactly the same. It doesn't matter which one. So it is literally just, do you want that chrome plated finish or do you want the matte finish? And I actually think from what we've seen so far, 
I think that the matte finish retail is possibly more pop accurate. So there is one other big difference between these two screwdrivers, and that's the secret function in the online exclusive. Retail version is great. It has all the same settings, all the same electronics, but it's blue. It's only blue, nothing else. Pop open this, you get to the battery section. There's nothing here, there's no other buttons, nothing for this to hide with. With this, do the same thing, pop out, get to the battery section. And to be honest, blink and you'd miss it if you didn't know you were looking for it. Right here, there's this little button. And that is the color changer. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed that they've put the color changer here. I would have much preferred it to have been a button somewhere else on the device, but never mind. So the way that the color changing function works is you have to depress this button on the bottom and then press the, I'm going to call it the ignition button for want of a better word. Press that and press the ignition button and it's based on timings. Hold it down for two seconds, you get the green setting, three seconds, a yellow setting, four settings is the red setting. Each time in between, you have to reset it to the blue setting. So I'll show you what I mean. So now you could snap that back on and you've got a lovely green screwdriver. What you don't get though, once you change the color, is any difference in the sounds by pressing the button an extra few times. So for example, nothing. So you only get one sound per color. That's it. So it's not like the blue, the default setting, the blue setting has five different settings, green, yellow, red, only have one sound, which is a bit disappointing. Take that back off if you want to change the color. Quick. So that's me back to my default position. And then one, two, three. Nope. This is the other thing. There's no, there's nothing to tell you how many seconds you've done. So you're, you're, you know, probably best to do Mississippi's. Get back to my default. This is frustrating. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Ah, son of a. Back to default. <laughs> right. Too fast. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll swing back to yellow, but there you go. There's your red setting. These sounds are coming through significantly louder than the primary blue. Let's see if we can get yellow. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Yeah! How about you? And there you go. And so that's the sound effect from the 13th Doctor screwdriver. That, for me, is the only nod to the 13th Doctor in any of this screwdriver. And you still, there you go, there's a bit of a better on the orange that you get there. So the next thing is, what happens if you leave this? Is it gonna remember those settings? The answer to that is yes. It seems like while the batteries are in, until you reset it back to its default position, if you've left it on green, it's gonna stay on green, it's gonna be on green. So you can leave this in whatever color setting you want it to have, and it'll just stay there. But remember, that means you're only gonna get one sound effect when you're pressing the ignition button. And that pretty much covers off all of the different functions and the different things on this. Character options are releasing another one of these. These were retailing for about 30 pounds. They're currently selling for about 130 pounds, 140 I've seen. Don't pay that, it's not worth it. Pick this up. For the sake of a, a green, a yellow, and a red LED, and three different sound effects, save your money, wait for the next pre-order, get one of these. This Sonic is just as good as this one.